All right, so did Beyonce just reveal the sex of her twins? We'll tell you why the Beehive thinks so, but first, we're talking to the Beast. What did you do to it? Nothing. Get out of here! Go! Dan Stevens will become a part of cinematic history, playing one of Disney's most beloved princes when the live action Beauty and the Beast hits theaters on Friday. But let's not forget, this is a cursed prince, which means Stevens had to get into beast mode, literally. He tells Terry Hart about taking on the almost entirely CG creation, all without even wearing a mask. You will join me for dinner. That's not a request. There's a lot of moving parts to playing beasts. There are. There are a number of huge challenges which I'd never quite taken on before. I guess there's singing and dancing, but also the physical shape I had to be in to puppeteer the muscle suit and to move around in that thing and, and walk on stilts, waltz on stilts. And then also we were employing a technology that's never been used this extensively before to capture a romantic lead close-up facial performance. And when she opens the door, give her a dashing debonair smile. Come, come, show me the smile. Oh, my dear. No. Were you there with her for all of your scenes? Yes. Yeah. Oh, every scene. But the technology we used meant that there was nothing in between us. I wasn't behind a prosthetic mask. We were essentially acting face to face. The mask that I'm driving is literally driven by my face. So it's like a 10,000 dot resolution driving that facial performance. At what point did you say, oh, we've got it. Emma's got it. I've got it. I mean, as soon as you ste stepped on the sets, you knew this was going to be a magical movie. Whether or not the beast would end up looking like the beast that we saw is entirely an act of faith uh, on all of our parts, really. Looks like it turned out quite well. By the way, this isn't Steven's only major role on the go at the moment. He's also playing the tortured protagonist on FX's Legion, a loose spin-off of the X-Men series. Tune in tomorrow for our chat with him about becoming a Marvel superhero. The answer to what is happening to you is here. You five are the Power Rangers. The Power Rangers are back, and I caught up with them. Here's your sneak peek. Guys, congratulations on the movie. Thank you. Thanks. I guess the majority of you were barely born when the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers exploded onto our TV screens. But share with me your earliest memory of the Rangers. My first action figure when I moved from mainland China to Hong Kong, my mom had bought me the Yellow Ranger, and that was my first Western toy. And then after I moved to North America, I found out about the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and I recalled, wow, I had that as a kid. I do remember playing Power Rangers with my brother. We used to be on like opposite sides of the room, and we'd go, 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 Power Rangers, and then we'd like run and wrestle. Dako, what about you? Look, I'll be honest with you, I mean, I didn't, I wasn't familiar with it, really. Okay. I mean, I heard of it, I didn't grow up in a cave, but uh, I, yeah, my first real memory was seeing us in the suits. Speaking of those suits, next week on Entertainment City, the cast tells me all about what it was really like wearing them. Did Beyonce just reveal the sex of her twins? The Beehive thinks so. Listen to this fan theory. The mother-to-be recently released some baby bump photos on her website, and some eagle-eyed fans noticed her earrings, which are the same earrings she wore in her 2008 music video for If I Were a Boy, meaning she must be having twin boys. If I Okay, Beyonce is known for her subtle hints, but maybe the earrings just matched her outfit? Be the case. As always, get your entertainment news first in the morning right here and anytime on Twitter at Ent City.